Okay, I wanted to talk today about uh, some bows that broke or bows that have had some problems that I've had to fix. Um, just because there's some lessons in there on A, why they broke, and then also on how you can fix a bow. Just because it's got a problem doesn't mean it's completely uh, dead. Um, this is a bow that I made out of uh, ocean spray, which normally grows pretty small, but this was a, a, a trunk section that had all these knots all over it, but it was only about this tall, uh, <laughs> only about that tall, and so I, I ended up cutting it, splitting it down the middle, and splicing it, so it's got a, a Z splice right here in the handle. And then I glued on some uh, other handle material to to uh, build up the handle. But it's two pieces spliced together. But uh, it was kind of a... My buddy dared me to try to make a bow out of this because it had so many knots and everything in it. Uh, you can see here there's a there's a hole all the way through the limb on that, that knot. But anyway, I made it and shot it for quite a while. And then finally one day it cracked. And it cracked... It lifted a, a splinter off the back here, right here. And the reason it did that is, is mainly because I, I left this where the hole is, this knot where the hole is, because I thought it was neat. And because there was a knot here, these are stiff spots, and it, it was bending too much right here. And that's why it, it broke. I had this a little too thin, and... and uh, and that's why it cracked right there. So I ended up gluing that crack down and wrapping it with thread soaked with glue. And then I, I retillered the whole thing and I shot it for a while longer. But then it ended up getting what's called a hinge right up here. And that's the same thing because it's not stiff right here. This part was overworking and, and it basically a hinge is when the, when the wood bends over, starts to bend over and uh is a weak spot and it would eventually break because of where that hinge is and so the only thing you can do is go back and retiller but because i had already fixed this spot i couldn't really go in and the only way to strengthen a hinge a place where it's bending too much is to remove wood everywhere else so that you're weakening everywhere else to where that spot that's bending too much isn't weak anymore so i couldn't do that because i had already fixed this here, so what I ended up doing was I glued on another piece of wood in through here, a patch. And I ended up wrapping this with rawhide and some thread also through there to, to make sure the patch held and stayed on. But anyway, I've still been shooting it. It's a little uglier than it used to be. But I, uh, I kind of keep it around and shoot it sparingly because uh, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite bows so then I wanted to show uh, this is a this is one of my older bows this is an Osage bow I call old grizzly uh, this was my hunting bow for years it's a takedown you can see uses a steel and, and brass takedown sleeve and uh, It's got a, a cherry bark grip. But anyway, this was my hunting bow for years, and I, I hunted with it for years, no problem. It was unbacked. Didn't have any backing on it, and uh, hunted with it for a long time. Well, I built it in 2000, um, and then in 2002, it, it developed a, uh, a splinter on the back right here. And uh, so I... Same thing, I, I glued that splinter down and I backed the back with silk and then wrapped it. And, but I, and after I glued this splinter, the tillering was slightly off. So I had to re-tiller the whole bow, which lost a little bit of weight. So I ended up cutting two inches off either side of this bow to bring the weight back up to what my original hunting weight was. And, uh, and then I, I shot it, hunted with it and shot it for a few more years. And then in 2004, it developed a split 
from the takedown sleeve down the limb here so I ended up having to having to glue and wrap it right here and at that point I retired it from a hunting bow but it's still a perfectly shootable bow I still shoot it I take it to the archery shoots and shoot it um, so it just because a bow just because a bow uh, develops a problem a wood bow doesn't mean it's done for um, of course, you might not enjoy having patches on it, but I don't know that just that just adds character, I guess So here's another one This is a U Pacific U and uh, I started making this bow and while I was tillering it before I had even finished it It had what's called wind shake and you would if it's if there's a real wind or or something um, where the tree gets damaged during its growth, it can get a dark black line through where the growth rings are, and what happens there is the the growth rings don't bond together, and it's internal in the wood, and it basically it can split apart because that that those growth rings haven't bonded to each other. And it can split apart just like a, a glass bow delaminating or a laminated bow delaminating. And this thing split apart where there was a wind shake right through the center of my limb. So as an experiment, just for the fun of it, I took another piece of you. I ground out all the way down to where that wind shake split was. I ground down, down to it and I glued in another piece of you wood in here and then I retillered out the bow and finished it and I've been shooting this bow like that too um, and it was just to see if I could do it uh, the old timers sometimes called a, a, a wood plug like this they would put them through knot holes sometimes or on the belly if they ended up with the problem on the belly they called that a Dutchman and uh, so and then this one's rawhide backed uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show that there's there's different ways of uh, fixing your bows. Whenever any your bow develops a problem, you should always ask yourself why. You know, why did it crack right there? A lot of times it's because of a knot stiffened up an area or your tillering was off. Sometimes it's just an internal flaw in the wood. But uh, you try to learn from it and uh, and try to fix it because you learn a lot from trying to fix bows too. Okay.